what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I am Ed, and I am happy to be back in the shop. COVID's long behind me, and now I'm ready to get something uh, on the lathe and turn. So what I've got here today is I've got a piece of uh, walnut, canary wood, and maple. It is about seven and a half inches around. That's about 190 millimeters, and it's about two and a half inches or 65 millimeters rough, uh, roughly. So uh, we're going to make a, a bowl out of this. Not really sure what kind of bowl we're going to make. Um, but we'll see what happens when we get it on the lathe, start turning it. But first thing we got to do is drill a hole, get it mounted to a worm screw. So hope you stay around and go and join me and let's go have some fun. Right, so we are going to do something a little different today. We're going to break the uh, the turning up. I uh, got some stickers in the mail, so just wanted to, to give a shout out. I'll put everybody's, uh, you know, either YouTube or Instagram um, in down in the description below. Uh, but I got a sticker from uh, Kim Tippin. Uh, go check her out. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Kim. Uh, I got a sticker from uh, Louie over at... Um, Woodworking uh, 20, uh, 220-7. Uh, I've got a sticker from a J at Moving Chips. And then um, Chris over at Hazel Woodcrafts. Uh, you know, I'll put links to all of their channels below um, or their Instagram. Please go check them out. Tell them I sent you. So um, thank you, everyone. I'll get your stickers out in the mail um, this week. So let's get back to turning on the bolt.
So let's talk about what I did and why I did it. Um, I always try to choose a shape that's going to accentuate the features of the ball. Um, in this case, it was the, the inlay here, and I just really wanted something that was just going to accentuate that both on the inside and outside. And I think that this flared shape really does that. Rather than having it cut you know, inside, or by having this gradual um, curve inside, I just feel like it just really accentuates that curve of that. I'll do that a lot of times where I'll try on the outside. If I've got a piece of wood that's especially um, you know, spectacular grain. I really want a shape that's going to accentuate that. So anyway, that's kind of why I went with the shape that I went with, and I, I think it turned out really, really nicely. So anyway. Alrighty, so now it's gonna uh, do the Axe products. Um, if you haven't tried this, I, I highly recommend it. Now, just to be uh, uh, upfront, they haven't paid me to say this, but they do supply me with the products. Um, but I highly recommend uh, their products. They're all food safe. Um, they work great. They're made here in the, uh, in the US. Um, you know, some people that's important too. Uh, I'm one of those people, but Either way, it's, it's really good products. Uh, check down below for a, a, a link to their website and a, a coupon code to get 15% uh, off. Um, but again, I use this on every single product. Highly recommend it. Well, that was actually a pretty quick uh, bowl to make, and man, what do you guys think? I kind of kind of dig it. I like the shape. Never made a shape kind of like this before, um, but uh, as I said earlier, I just really like the way it accentuates, um, you know, the uh, the racing stripe here. But uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Um, yeah, I like this one. So uh, thank you for uh, you know sticking around. Uh, thank you everyone who sent me a, a note and a sticker. I really appreciate that. Um, you guys were way too kind, multiple stickers. I already got you guys up on the board here and I'll put the others out on the uh, pressure pot. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So happy to be back in the shop. Uh, it felt good to be out here turning something. So 
Thank you. Uh, if you like this one, give it that thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. Give it a thumbs down. Uh, drop a comment down here. Tell me what you thought. You know, any future ideas for projects and things like that. I got a really exciting one coming up. I can't wait for you to see. So make sure you're subscribed. And speaking of all of those good things, if you want to see other videos like this, click over here. If you want to become a subscriber, click up here. Click the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.